We're here tonight at Brandon Theaters watching the Lego Batman movie. The movie is ridiculously funny. The, the one thing that I love about Lego games, the shows on Netflix, whatnot, and now the movies, is they have a unique way of writing a comedy. They can get away with taking all kinds of sources and stuff from everywhere, throw it into the pot, and be like, have at it, guys. The movie was so enjoyable. Had a lot of adult things, a lot of adult throwbacks. I don't think the younger crowd's gonna pick up on, but mom and dad and your uncle and your aunt, they'll pick up on it. They'll be like, oh yeah, super cool. I am a huge fan of the first Lego movie. I didn't think it was a movie that could be made. It didn't make a lot of sense when I first read, hey, they're making a movie about Legos. I'm like, I don't think that's a good idea. And it was my favorite movie of that year. So I was pretty excited to see a Lego Batman movie, being a fan of Legos, being a fan of Batman. But could they pull off off an entire film of the essentially secondary character from the Lego movie? The answer is yes, they did pull it off. And I was shocked and amazed, even as excited as I was to see this movie, I was thoroughly surprised and impressed from the first second of imagery, or non-imagery as the case may be, I was laughing for the first hour and 45 minutes. So that's pretty much the whole movie. I was laughing. This is a really, funny movie, very clever. Lego Batman is a very enjoyable movie, I have to say. If you're at all a fan of the Lego franchise or DC Comics and Batman, you're going to really love this movie. I love the cleverness they have. All of the Lego franchise movies, the Star Wars ones, I find to be incredibly clever, and this movie is no exception. The voices are really well done. They do a good job portraying that world, and it just has a sense of humor that is hilarious, and I really, really enjoy this movie. Uh, going into this movie, I was pretty much expecting more of the same from the Lego movie, which is lots of one-liners, lots of sarcasm, tons of pop culture, just characters left and right from all kinds of different, different media places, and it didn't disappoint. It was exactly what I thought it was gonna be. Tons of funny one-liners, lots of sarcasm, didn't take itself too seriously, lots of laugh out loud moments, if you watched the trailer or saw the original Lego movie and you're like, this looks fun, let's go see it. You're gonna love it. Gotta say, I also love, it's in the preview, so it's not a spoiler, that they acknowledge Batman and all of his batman s from now all the way back to when Adam West was playing Batman. And they, they do some pretty awesome stuff. So if you're a huge Batman fan, I recommend it. Even if you're a DC guy, I recommend it. Even if you like Legos, I recommend it. There were a couple things in the previews that they advertised one way, and I was really looking forward to those like specific scenes. I don't know if you're like that, but when I see something in a preview and they market it a specific way, I want to see what I saw in the previews. Like, oh, that looked cool. But then when you get to the movie, you're like, wait, wait, nope, they did something different. I don't really care for that. It's not like it's like, oh my god, I ruined the movie. But it was still kind of like, no, I was looking for the whole rip for the certain scene in the preview and it I also wanted to buy all the toys. Let's face it, within the first 10 minutes, everything's just flying in. I'm like, I want that, I want that, I want that. It was like Christmas on, on a movie screen. Just everything's flying around in your face. There's a lot to take in visually, just like the, the original Lego movie. And that's part of the fun is just picking out everything, seeing all the little Easter eggs. They've done an amazing job with the cast of characters. It is wide cast of characters from the DC universe. A lot of lesser known villains get some screen time. Really fun to see those if you're a DC fan. Even if you're not, I think it's probably gonna be pretty amusing just because there's always some of those, I might call them nobody's favorites characters that get a lot of good laughs. It's just over the top and hilarious. It's, it's very well done. This isn't the kind of movie you go looking for a deep story. This isn't the kind of movie you go to going, I want superb acting or an amazingly written script. This is the kind of movie you go to where you just want to have fun. You just want to smile, you want to laugh, you want to walk out feeling good. This is that kind of movie, and it really delivered. The entire time I was watching the movie, I had a smile on my face, multiple laugh out loud moments, and when I walked out of the theater, I was really glad that I saw it. But I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. I really enjoyed it, I loved it. I cannot wait for that Ninjago Lego movie to come out later this year. If Lego can keep doing what they're doing, I think we're gonna get a nice, maybe every other year of just Lego movies, and it's gonna be so much fun, so entertaining. A little down on yourself, go watch your Lego movie, you'll feel a lot better. This movie movie gets a 9 out of 10. It's got a good story, a little bit predictable, a little bit cliche, but we're talking about a movie that's, you know, ages 8 to 80 here. I'm smack dab right about in the middle of that, so it hit me right
right in the sweet spot. I give it a 10. I don't give too many movies a 10, but this one I do because I could not find any flaws with it. I believe that people of all ages will enjoy this from a kid through an adult. You're going to love this movie. I'm going to give the movie a 9 out of 10. There was a group of characters I wanted to see more of, and they alluded to there being more of them in the trailer, and I was a little disappointed in that. But other than that, I really enjoyed the movie. I thought it was a ton. Go on ahead and like this video, favorite it, subscribe to this channel for more reviews like this, plus unboxing videos, other things that we are going to be doing. Question for you this week, out of all the Batman stuff out there, what's your favorite Batman and or Joker? So go ahead and shoot that down below, favorite Batman, or you can go bonus round, fa uh, favorite Batman and Joker combo, like you can take like the Michael Keaton Batman with the Heath Ledger Batman, bam. Curious, because there's enough Batmans, enough Jokers out there, throw up the mix, but boom. And remember, you heard it here, at the source.